All right, it's time for another Would You Rather Wednesday. Uh, the first portion of these will be from what people put in the huddle, and then later on we'll get to uh, some ones that are online. Would you rather be able to talk with animals, all animals, or speak all foreign languages? All foreign languages, not even close. I agree. Not even close. I completely disagree. Wow. Think- not Think about how close. much you can learn from animals. Like, no. just to no. know what they're Zero. thinking about. No. <laughs> so you're going to be like, you're going to be so excited to talk to animals, and then you're going to talk to a dog. And I just like, don't do it. I would be the only person not, in the world who could talk to I an animal. I know that I'm the minority here, but I just do not get animal people. I don't I get don't, pet people. I, mean, I just, don't see. I want to learn from, like, a gorilla and be like, what is your life? Like, that's what I'm saying. I don't see animals boring. being good conversationalists. Grill is going to be like, you know, uh, eat leaves. Yeah, I mean, I, eat, I sit here and eat leaves all Pick day. Pick bugs, you know, kind of into that sort of thing. And I that's think, even if he can't no, talk with I that think, much English. I think animals think about some stuff. Okay. Uh, maybe like a cool. dolphin. So do humans. <laughs> <laughs> but, it, is, it is a great flex to be able to go to like, I mean, anywhere, right? Let's say you walk into a business meeting with some Mandarin businessmen. And you just bust out like yeah, is there a little little little, little dollop I of Mandarin. This. I got this. Then like you switch over to some like Portuguese or something. And maybe you go talk to the stumble. dogs and monkeys. We'll be closing business in Singapore. Well, how does it feel, Danny? Are you bilingual? Yeah, I'm. Bilingual. Okay, so we actually have a bilingual person in the room. And Danny, would you rather talk to dogs or keep that second language? <laughs> keep the second language. Yeah. <laughs> uh, would you rather explore space or the ocean? Ocean. Both are incredibly dangerous in similar ways. Um, a lot of similarities, actually. Um, I'm going to go with space. Because if I'm in, like, a submersible sub in the ocean, I still have to deal with gravity. If I'm in a spaceship, I get to float around. So I think that's easy. I'm going to go with space. I'm, like, terrified of both. Like, just the idea of them are just insane. The ocean is so dark, and we don't know anything about Ugh, it. But it. neither do we know anything about space. So. If I knew I was going to be alive after and, like, make it out alive, I would explore space. Okay. Danny? I'd explore space just because of the possibility of finding, like, different planets. The worst thing ever, though, is if you're in space and you get, like, thrown off track and then mm. you know you got to die just, like, hurtling Floating. through the void and eventually you just starve to death or run out of oxygen or something. That'd be terrible. Uh, would you rather hey, have... Put me legions below the ocean. Let me see what's going no on down way, there now. It's so dark. So dark. So How are you going to see? Well, you'd have lights. You'd have lights, for sure. Yeah, I mean, I mean, space, 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 space also, like pretty, <laughs> also pretty dark. Erases a good point. I mean, you have the sun. <laughs> but you're not going to be standing on it. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, no. It would, pro- it would be much easier to observe things in the ocean because, like, they're yeah. there. In space, you're going to have to go way far to get anywhere interesting. <laughs> I'm going to stand on the sun. <laughs> I just want a bunch of uh, fun anti-gravity stuff. Would you rather have an arena? Right over there. An arena named after you, a street named after you, or a statue? Ooh. I'd go arena. Col- uh, Colada Coliseum. Oh. Ooh. It's got a nice ring. It's got like nice I thought ring. about that or something. And then you could kick out any refs that step, that, uh, step out of line. Damn right. Get out of the Coliseum. Yeah, bud. Uh, I would, uh, I'm going to go statue. I'm going to go statue. I think, like, statues, whether you're talking about, like, Roman history, Greek history, whatever, any kind of history, statues are just awesome. They stand the test of time. Look at Shaq. Look at the skip one. Yeah, give me a statue. It's never going to happen. I'm going to get a statue, and it's going to be called the Sam Favors statue. Wow. That's incredibly creative. Damn. Danny? I don't know what I'm going to be Still doing. Still that Adderall, it, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I'm picking arena. Every, t- every time somebody says, like, I want to go to this arena, they got to die. Well, the yeah. Cardinals Coliseum, though. Easy. Coming, Easy. coming, Fine, coming for the Colada Coliseum. That's all I'm saying, dude. Uh, would you rather be a little late or way too early? A little late. Really? It's too awkward. Way too early. Way too early. We were talking about this earlier. I had a dream that I was, like, way too late for the show, mm. and it scared me. It's so. a bad feeling. Way too early, 100%. I woke up at 7 a.m. when I first came, when everybody hated me, and I first come over here, and I, like, missed the first segment, so it was terrible. <laughs> you should have just stayed home that day. It's super stressful. Hey, nah, man. I made it from the bed into work, and I lived way closer, but I think I made it in, like, seven minutes or it was six crazy. minutes. It was pretty insane. I mean, from the time you texted and said, I've just woken up to the time you were at the microphone was... <laughs> it was it was instant. I was freaking out. I just immediately, as soon as I woke up and saw the sun streaming through the window, I just yelled a guttural f bomb just from like, <laughs> from from my belly, from my core. It originated in my groin. I was so mad. Um, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Would you rather 
date someone you met online or go on a blind date? I don't know who asked this, but I feel like everybody dates people they meet online now. Yeah. Right? I mean, you would rather that over a blind date, right? Yeah. I mean, I'm I mean, not in the dating game. I have no No, idea. I would rather go on a blind date that my friend set me up with. People on the internet are scary. Oh, okay. I got on Tinder the other day just to, like, try it out with my friends. I thought Tinder Y'all, was dead. Wait, have you so never seen so you've never been on Tinder before? No, this is my first, like, wow. week on Tinder. and <laughs> Look at Danny. Another <laughs> bleep eating <laughs> grin. <laughs> <laughs> but you live in New Orleans. So, like, there's actually, like... Danny, People use it. So yeah. I don't I don't know if uh, Sammy's <laughs> going to be able to help me here. What is the current dating app of choice? I feel, is it still Tinder? Uh, I mean, Tinder's like the back pages, but uh, yeah, I feel like I feel like Tinder's gotten good, a little though. too greasy though. Did yeah. it, what is it, Bumble now? What are you on? No, I mean, oh, you're on Grinder. No, <laughs> no, no, not at all. <laughs> um, I'd probably choose um, Tinder. Okay, I like okay. to make first move. down backpage.com. You, so yeah. you you use Tinder? No, not right now. I mean, I, I have. <laughs> See, I can't swipe. Danny's freaking out. I can't Turn swipe. Turn his microphone off. I know. Not I, right now. Even we if the guy's so it. cute, I'm so scared to swipe right on it. Why? Because I don't want him to be like, oh. Put yourself oh, out there. Well, then why are you there? Yeah, that's just the point to look of at the people though. on yeah. it. Yeah, 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 you okay. should have, you should have looked. She look. She's just dipping her toes in the water yeah. right now. She's dipping her toes. We'll see where it goes. Um, <laughs> uh, would you rather Instagram Edward? One. Uh, would you rather Edward and and. <laughs> and now we know how you hop in. <laughs> would, would you rather Rookies. <laughs> Would you rather Edward or Jacob? Of course, this is a Twilight shout out. Sammy Flavors, we were talking about on Twitter yesterday. Jordan, have you ever seen Twilight? I've not. Do you remember the Team Edward, Team Jacob stuff? I, mean, I remember them, but uh, Dan, vampires, you got opinion? werewolves. Yeah, vampires, werewolves. Uh, I'm Team Edward. Uh, I hate Jacob. I, he was he was just so annoying. Especially, um, what's the actor name? Taylor Lautner. Yeah. Yeah, get out of here. What? Get out of here, dude. Okay, so I was like 13 when this came He's out. Wow, so you were like primed. Yeah, Taylor Lawler's a Saints Yeah, Saints oh, fan. shoot. Okay, that kind of changes the game now a little right. bit. Right. It's so, kind of random. Nope, you can't like, change it now. He's a boy with Sean Payton. Well, I don't want to change it now because Robert Pattinson's going to be Batman, so I'm cool with Team Edward. Whatever. So I was 13 when this movie came out, y'all, wow. and Taylor mm. Lawler was like my wheelhouse. first crush, and he loved Bella, loves Bella way more than Edward. I will say this. But is she stupid enough to go with Edward? Let her be. Edward is an immortal vampire. Jordy, tell me if this freaks you out. Uh, he's about, I believe he was born with 18, 16, whatever. He's like 150 years old. Yeah. And he falls in love with a 16-year-old. Totally wigged. That's, I'm that's, I mean, but that's, he's that's, in a 16-year-old body. <laughs> no. But that doesn't matter, dude. That doesn't matter. I don't Talk to damn. someone who is 10 years younger than yeah, you right. and then think about having a relationship with him and then extrapolate that into you're an immortal being. Jacob's definitely on Tinder. I mean, come on, dude. You can't be. Yeah, Taylor, he's, yes. Jacob probably cleans up on Tinder. Also, um, probably all right, like, there you go. Would you rather? Oh, you, do, can we do the one that we talked about during the commercial break? Oh, yeah. Hurry up. Okay, last one here. This comes from the internet. Would you rather? Never orgasm again, or have walking be the sole mode of transportation for the rest of your life. Holy cow. Can't catch a ride, can't bike, can't uh, drive, you can't you, you can't put rollerblades on. Like I told you, you can't even put heelys on. You are either never orgasming or walking everywhere for the rest of your life. I mean, that better be some good. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> Make you I walk mean, for it. I'm... I'm I'm flying. I'm walking. I'm riding. I, I gotta. Think, I gotta <sighs> move. I gotta stay on the move. I gotta stay on the move. Okay, so just yeah. Just I mean, go I'm gonna be a pent up mad just, dude yeah, for the rest abstinent. of my life. You're good, dude. <laughs> you're good. I mean, you, you maybe maybe all that moving around will help you out. The nomadic lifestyle. Uh, I'll stay put. <laughs> it's uh, the age of Corona. I'll figure out a way to work yeah. from home. Uh, I'll be good to go. Yeah. Anonymous user, if you're walking everywhere, you ain't getting laid anyways. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's a, but 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 that's a thing. This ain't just about engaging in coitus with another person. This is even you yourself, just never again. Just never again. That's, mm. that's too extreme. I can't go there.